भारत वर्ष अ कंट्री ऑफ अ बिलियन पीपल अ ग्रोइंग ग्लोबल पार हाउस यू फो साइटिंग इज नॉट अ कॉन्सेप्ट ओनली लिमिटेड टू दी वेस्टर्न कंट्रीज इन द लास्ट हंड्रेड ईयर्स मेनी इन इंडिया हैज एक्सपीरियंस्ड और विटनेस्ड यू फो साइटिंग्स एंड एनकाउंटर्स एंड टूडे लेट एस अनवेल फाइव ऑफ द मोस्ट फैसिनेटिंग फैक्ट्स एंड इंसिडेंट्स इन रिगार्ड टू द यू फो साइटिंग्स इन इंडिया Hello guys, welcome back to Bong Voyager. My name is Dev, and today this is once again a joint vlog between team detectives of Supernatural and Bong Voyager. Today's episode will be based on the top five fascinating UFO sightings in India. But as usual, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel, and also press the bell icon to get further notifications. So stay tuned, and here we go. 15 March, 1991. Chief Aerial Officer of the Delhi Flying Club George A Floyd and unke sath Delhi Flying Club ka aur bhi 25 sadasyon ne ek adbhut nazara ka anubhav kiya Delhi ke aasman mein They claim to have seen a long metallic cigar shaped body with no outer visible control hovering in the air ये भारत के यूएफओ साइटिंग्स के इतिहास में सबसे पुराना में से एक माना जाता है एट टेन ट्वेंटी एम इन दी मॉर्निंग जॉर्ज एफ लोएट अ चीफ एरियल इंजीनियर एलोंग विथ हिस टू असिस्टेंट्स स्पॉटेड समथिंग स्ट्रेंज इन द स्काई नियर द दिल्ली फ्लाइंग क्लब हैंगर आउट ऑफ नो वेट दे सॉ मेटेलिक सिगर शेप ऑब्जेक्ट अपियर फ्रॉम द एंड ऑफ अ स्वेरली व्हाइट क्लाउड What stranger than the shape of the unidentified object itself was the speed at which it was cruising. Jo bhi eyewitnesses the they have claimed that the unidentified object was around 100 feet long and iska jo speed hai ye British Vampire Jet ka speed se 3 guna zyada mana jata hai. British Vampire Jet ka speed approximately was around 415 miles per hour. an accidental click kannur kerala having got a new phone the htc1 major sebastian zakaria was testing the camera while on an outing on a beach in kannur kerala little did he know that he would capture an image of what looked like a flying saucer with his phone the image captured shows a car parked with the sea in the background but right above the waves is the image of what undoubtedly looks like a ufo what's weird is that none of the other images he had captured before and after had a ufo in the frame while we tried to dig into the matter we came across an article published by the new indian express on 18 june 2013 divya sebastian wife of major sebastian jakaria an army officer now on an international assignment said that her husband has indeed captured the image while on an outing on a beach in kannur she said my husband had a new mobile phone htc1 and he was checking the features by clicking photos it was around 4:35 pm in the evening and suddenly he screamed saying that he has got a ufo image we couldn't believe it and thought he was playing a prank she said major sevastian did not see the ufo with his naked eye we checked every frame carefully and only one had a flying saucer on it we looked in the sky to spot something unusual we came back home did a thorough search on the internet and even scanned the nasa website said divya out of curiosity and to rule out any technical snag The customer service center of the mobile phone firm was contacted to know if an already stored image got merged with the phone. We were told that no UFO images were stored on the mobile library and it is then we were forced to believe that we might have captured something special. Iske pehle ke hum log aage jaye dosto 
कृपया मेरे चैनल को लाइक शेयर और सब्सक्राइब कीजिए बेल आइकन को भी दबा दीजिए ताकि आपको आगे आने वाले सारे वीडियोस के बारे में पता रहे दोस्तों भारत और चीन के बीच जो इंटरनेशनल बॉर्डर है दैट इज़ वेरी मच सेंसिटिव कॉन्सिडरिंग द रिसेंट स्कमिश बिटवीन बोथ द फोर्सेस इन टू एंड ट्वेंटी और चौंकाने वाला बात यह है दोस्तों कि इन दो चाइना बॉर्डर में भी यूएफओ साइटिंग्स हुआ है बिटवीन द मंथ्स ऑफ ऑगस्ट एंड अक्टूबर द इंडियन मिलिट्री पोस्ट्स नियर द इंडिया चाइना बॉर्डर सो मोर देन हंड्रेड यूएफओस दैट अपीयर टू लिफ्ट ऑफ फ्रॉम द चाइनीज साइट अ टाइम्स ऑफ इंडिया रिपोर्ट हैज स्टेटेड दैट द योलोई स्पियर्स अपीयर टू लिफ्ट ऑफ फ्रॉम द होराइजन ऑन द चाइनीज साइट and slowly traverse the sky for 3 to 5 hours before disappearing army officials in charge of the border reportedly ruled out chinese drones or low orbit satellites so the question here is to you guys what do you think is this some high tech device or some high tech drone from the red army or is it a real ufo that was sighted dosto based on the hindustan times report take a look at the pictures from some of the india's most iconic ufo sightings over the taj mahal along a coastal road in ladakh india has a dramatic and much debated history of unidentified flying objects ufo sightings in india are much more sporadic than in us but we still have some iconic images such as this one taken near the taj mahal in agra we don't know who clicked the taj mahal photo but it's become famous in indian ufology circles the unidentified object spotted here is at banswara rajasthan taken in 2008 eight locals reported seeing an unfamiliar craft in the afternoon sky They describe the UFO as a hat-shaped object with a bright underlight. Sun 1964, Billy Mayer, one of the world's most infamous UFO researchers, traveled to India and shot a series of photographs that allegedly show UFOs over Delhi's skies. Technology is now aiding the search for answers. Some ufologists are using satellite imagery apps and online tools to zero in on odd phenomena such as this urban crop circles in Tirupur Tamil Nadu dosto mera ye video ke niche Hindustan Times ke ye article ka link me de raha hu so if you want you can go and check it yourself and finally dosto the incident of companion flight pune Pilot Mahima Chaudhary was piloting a scheduled flight when she saw something strange from her cabin. Flying at a height of 26000 feet, Mahima spotted a UFO that was flying slightly higher at 310 degrees. She added that the UFO was green and white in color, although when the Pune mirror reached out to the Mumbai Air Traffic Control and DCGA to get a comment on the same, they didn't report back with any information. While these are just handful of reports friends sightings have been reported far and wide in the country Dosto aaj ka video mein itna hi I hope you have liked this episode on the five fascinating UFO sightings in India Please do put your feedback in the comment section and do let us know if you are aware of any other interesting UFO sighting within our country Wishing everyone a happy Republic Day and also I would request all of you guys please do subscribe to my channel like share and also click on the bell icon to get further updates Till then take very good care of yourself and as usual keep rocking